Picasso's Crouching Woman, worth millions, a painting from his blue period, but there's more to it than meets the eye. The conservators at the gallery analysed it with a new type of scanner, and this is what they discovered. Underneath it is a painting of the Barcelona landscape by a fellow artist. But turn it 90 degrees and bring back the crouching woman and you see that Picasso has used a landscape as the basis of his painting. It helps date the painting, it helps determine where the painting was made, but it also gives a sense of the artist with whom a particular painter was engaging. And I think these insights do help ask us new and more interesting and more scientifically accurate questions. The contour of the hills in the background becomes the crouching woman's back and she takes on the shape and form of the Catalan countryside. Until now, only the wealthiest galleries could afford to scan and even then it was only for great works of art. But the new system is cheaper and portable and so can be used by anyone to find the secrets behind any painting they want. The Mexican muralist artist here at the Harry Ransom Center, the curator has questions about this portrait of the American composer George Gershwin. In particular, whether a friend on the front row was painted out and seated further back because he fell out of favor. So this figure here is Oscar Levant, who was a friend of George Gershwin, but also a rival. And so stories have circulated for years that perhaps he um, as the only recognizable figure in the second row was perhaps moved, uh, demoted as it were, um, from appearing in the first row. So that's one of the questions that we can potentially find out with this technology. Can I take a look? Yep. Tracy has asked the team that developed the scanning system to help her answer that question. They scan each stroke of the brush millimeter by millimeter. It's a collaboration the that the team wants to extend to more galleries. Many of these paintings are waiting to tell their secrets and so with the X-ray fluorescence spectrometer we can help them talk to us more. X-rays are on, there we go. The team hopes that the widespread use of their scanners will increase our understanding of artists, their thought processes and the way they worked. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, Austin, Texas.